When you name a vehicle, the Chrysler 300, you know that its presence is bigger than a turntable because it has something that runs deeper than sheet metal. It has a legacy. Engineers, designers, planners, and line workers, they have all served as guardians of its automotive mystique. And this new Chrysler 300, the latest in a line of kings, is built to fulfill it. It's time, time for Chrysler to come back onto the automotive stage like this. It's time for a car that makes a bold statement without saying a word. It's time for the torch of the most awarded car ever to be passed. And we did, with only one objective, make it even better. Not just for tomorrow, not just for today, but for the future for a new generation of Chrysler customers. To that end, the new Chrysler Group has committed to a brand new architecture, a whole new skin, an entirely new interior, new powertrain, new suspension. Everything is brand new on the 2011 new 300. Uh, to say this is an emotional day for us is an understatement. Like, the company that shares the first name of this car, it's been through a lot. Before I get all like teary-eyed, um, let's just say there's a reason it's last of the 16 new and refreshed models we told you about. It's because we had to get the car right. When OLEV came around and Sergio came around, we debated this car heavily. Where did it have to go? Because somewhere along the way, this car became an icon. We started the conversation in Detroit about six years ago, and how do we evolve it? Like the brand, the 300 had to become more mature more relevant, more luxurious, more beautiful, yet still respect where it came from. 